Hey guys, Mike here. So today's cult classic review is 1996's Train Spine, starring Hugh McGregor as Mark Rentboy Renton. In Train Spine, we follow Mark Renton, or Rentboy as his friends call him, as he gets off heroin and then gets back on it again, and see him dealing with the struggles of going cold turkey and being dependent on heroin. And so we have Train Spine. So guys, this is another movie in this series that before watching and reviewing it today, I had actually seen it before, and the main reason I did watch it was so I could watch the new Train Spotting movie. But I thought to myself, I wanted a slightly different experience watching this one than watching it the first time. So I did a bunch of heroin, and I gotta tell ya, this was the best movie I've ever seen in my life. I did think it was a bit weird when Danny DeVito turned up in a Kermit the Frog outfit. <laughs> But nah, seriously, all joking aside, I did actually really like this movie the first time I watched it, so I was hoping I'd enjoy it again the second time round. So first of all, let's talk about Hugh McGregor. I really liked his performance in this movie. He manages to be such a likeable character, even though he's pretty much a massive scumbag. Normally, I tend not to gravitate towards characters like this, but Hugh McGregor and the rest of the cast, they have likeable personalities, they're really funny, and they have deep, complex issues that are worked through throughout the movie. And Trainspine also manages to balance comedy and drama excellently. One minute they're sitting there, they're having the best time of their lives. The next minute they're hallucinating about seeing dead babies on the ceiling. And these shifts in tones, they never feel jarring or out of place. There were some of the more surprising comedic scenes, the ones that really stand out in this one. I remember laughing my head off the first time I saw them. Like the schoolgirl scene or the bedsheet scene. And I thought to myself, I'm probably not going to laugh as hard as I did the first time I watched this one. I mean, with the schoolgirl scene, it's more of the shock factor that makes you laugh. So you'd think the second time around, you're probably not going to laugh as hard. And that's definitely not the case. I still laugh my ass off at this scene. And also the more grim and depressing scenes still have the same impact as well. And like I said before, Trade Spine balances these scenes brilliantly. It doesn't make you laugh too much to make you think you're watching a full-blown comedy. And it doesn't depress you too much to make you think that you're watching a full-blown drama either. And Trainspine manages to handle its subject matter really well. And like I said, Trainspine is a balancing act. They could have had it lean towards one way where the characters are absolute scumbags and everyone's wishing that only the worst things would happen to them. Or they could have made it seem like they're really sympathetic and like, oh woe is me kind of characters. But no, the film puts it across that every decision they make in this movie is their own, and they've all got to live with the consequences of their choices. And the movie doesn't come across as too preachy either, it just puts the evidence in front of you, and lets you make up your own mind about these characters. And something else I really liked in Trainspot as well was the soundtrack, because it helps to set the tone and really takes you back to the mid-90s. I mean, when this movie came out, I was only two years old, but still, it was a good time. So, would I consider Train Spine a personal cult classic, and would I recommend that you guys should watch it? Even though I really like this movie, I still probably wouldn't put it as one of my all-time favourite movies. Don't get wrong, it's still really good. It's just, I don't really think it's gonna go up there in like my top 100 movies or something like that. But still, I would definitely recommend that you guys should watch it. It's got good, layered, in-depth characters, the story's decent, the comedy is amazing, and it's just got a little bit of something for everyone. So do yourselves a favour, watch Train Spine. Okay guys, that's my cult classic review for Train Spine. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Whatever you think, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!